Hello everyone. Welcome to ArcGIS Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform resolution merge or pan sharpening using ArcGIS software. Let us first understand what are the requirements for performing pan sharpening. Pan sharpening requires a low resolution image and a high resolution image. For this demonstration, I'll be using the multispectral image which I created by performing layer stacking in my previous video. If you want to know more about layer stacking using ArcGIS, I would highly recommend you to watch that video by clicking on the link shown in the top right corner right now and I'll leave the link of the same in the video description below. Coming to the high resolution image, I'll be using the band 8 of the Landsat data. Let us now import these bands into the ArcGIS software. I'm going to start first with band 8, which is the panchromatic band of the Landsat 8 imagery. Right, this is band 8. Let me show the properties of this. Okay, so in the layer property window, if you go to source, you will note that the cell size is 15, 15. That means this band has a spatial resolution of 15 meters and this will play as the high resolution image for pan sharpening operation. Let me now import the multispectral low resolution image. Okay, so this is my low resolution image. I have named it as LS which stands for layer stack. Let me show the properties of this image very quickly. Okay, look at this. The cell size is 30, 30, which means this image has a spatial resolution of 30 meters. Now, what I will do is I'll perform pan sharpening, which combines these two images to create a high resolution that is 15 meter multispectral image. Let me show you how this is done. To start with, let us now enable the extensions. So go to customize. Click on extensions. Make sure the spatial analyst extension is checked. If it is already checked, no issues. Otherwise, check it and then close this window. Now, let us go to the toolbox. Click on the arc toolbox here. Okay, the arc toolbox has appeared here. In this, you need to select data management tools. Click on the plus icon next to it. In that, you need to select raster. Once again, click on the plus icon next to it. Scroll down. Here, you need to click on raster processing. Click on the plus icon next to it. And within raster processing, you have an option to create pan sharpened raster data set. Double click to open the toolbox. Right. So the toolbox for creating the pan sharpened raster is now here. Let us now provide inputs to this. The first parameter here is the input raster, which indicates the multispectral image. So this is my multispectral image, select that. The next three options are R, G and B channels. Let us refer to the Landsat 8 band description. Note that band 4 is red, band 3 is green and band 2 is blue. So I'm going to now go back to the toolbox, red is 4. Click on it, select 4, green is 3, and blue is 2. The next one is infrared channel, which is an optional input. However, if you look at the band description, you will note that infrared actually is band 5. So, I will now select band 5 as infrared. Okay, the next option is output raster data set, which is the output file. Let us now click on this folder icon. Go to the location wherever you want to save this file and give a name to it. Since this is pan sharpen, let me call it as pan, indicating pan sharpened image. Please note, ArcGIS by default saves this as a raster data set. Once name is given, click on save. Let us now go on to the next option here. The next one is panchromatic image. Panchromatic image is our high resolution image. Click on this drop down menu and select band 8. Next is pan sharpening type. 
If you click on this drop down here, you will note that there are several methods available here. For this demonstration, I will use Gram Schmidt pan sharpening type. Next is sensor, however, this is optional. But since we already know the sensor type, let us provide this information. Click on the drop down and select Landsat 8. Please note, I have selected Landsat 8 because the data I have taken is actually derived from Landsat 8 sensor. Now, the last four options are absolutely optional. They are the weights for red, green, blue and infrared. I am not going to change any of these values. I will just retain them to be as it is. Once all of this is done, now we have set the parameters to perform pan sharpening and let us click OK to start the operation. Generally, the processing should be shown here, but since the RGS is not showing that, let us now go to Geo Processing and here you click on Results. Now the current session is running. Click on the plus icon next to it. You can see that the Create Pan Sharpened Raster Data Set is running. Click on this. And until this hourglass is there, the processing will continue to happen. Depending upon the size of your data, the time taken to perform this operation may vary. Generally, pan sharpening or resolution merge operations take quite a lot of time. So, I am going to now skip the processing in order to make this video short. Right. The process is now completed. You can see we got a message here in the bottom right corner saying the operation is completed and this green color checkbox indicates the operation was indeed successful. You can see that the image is also added to the table of contents here. Let us now verify the properties of this image and know whether the operation was indeed successful. Let me now close the results window as well as the toolbox window here. Let me now change the band combination for the input multispectral image to the color infrared, which is band combination 543. That is, R will be 5, G will be 4, and B will be 3. Let me just disable the pan sharpened image. Right, so this is the color infrared combination for the layer stacked 30 meter input image. Now, let me set the same for the pan sharpened image. However, now the problem is when you click on the band combination for the pan sharpened image, you will note that we have only four bands. So you need to now find a right combination to display in the same fashion as what we have done for the input multispectral image. For Landsat 8, the band combination here is R is band 4, G is band 1 and B is band 2. Okay, so let me disable the pan sharpened image to show the difference. Right, you see that I am changing the pan sharpened image viewing and you see that both of them look very much alike. Let us now verify the spatial resolution of the pan sharpened image. Click on the name of the image, right click, go to the properties, go to source and check the cell size. Now it is 15, 15, which means that the pan sharpening operation was indeed successful. Let me now just close this. Right, that is about performing pan sharpening or resolution merge using the ArcGIS software. In my next video, I'll demonstrate how to perform subset operation of the data using a shapefile. So stay tuned. Well, that is about this video. If you like this video, Kindly like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials on ArcGIS. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.